Hello and welcome. Today I think we're going to be looking at a two bow bimini top from a small boat, inflatable, dinghy, canoe, kayak, whatever you put it on. Yeah, pretty average packaging. Tiny little, little poles. Pretty, pretty basic. Poles are pretty thick though. You usually don't even find that that big on a full size boat. I don't know why those are so loose. Maybe we'll figure that out soon. I'm not a big fan of the mount style so far. So let's read the instructions and figure out how to put it together. All right, well, let's figure out how to put it together. Apparently gray is green-gray in their world. Look at that tiny, tiny little top. Better be frozen. All right, so it is kind of green, kind of gray. Whatever, good enough. So there's our two sides. Don't know which is which. Shouldn't matter. Like we have. So we got our one around there. Let's make another one. With another spring clip there. Put in one of our extension poles, like so. Front and back will go. Back will go. Right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use one of these poles. It's going to get the double spring clips. It better not be a front or back for this thing. So I'll throw it in there. Now for the opposite side, put these poles together. Run it through my top. First problem, it's way too wide for the boat. Secondly, my assembly instructions didn't really tell me what to do, so I was guessing. The straps need to go into the pole, which I didn't do back here, which is a problem. Um, secondly, it's, it's too wide. So what I'm going to do is try to modify the poles that connect the frame together to see if I can't narrow it. So I'm five inches too wide. So I'm going to take off five inches off each one of these pipes and then drill a new hole in the bottom and then reassemble. All right, the hole size in these poles isn't quite a quarter inch. The letter A drill bit actually fits pretty nicely. So I'm going to determine how far away from the end of the pole this hole is and drill, re-drill the holes. The holes get drilled with the pole straight up and down. Okay, I'll go reassemble now. Well, I would say that fits and works pretty well. A little tall, but that's all right. Mounting it, eh, that was a little challenging. I wound up having to use actual just Bimini hardware. Uh, 
Now this is obviously just a bolt sitting in there. Which apparently isn't coming out. Anyway, for safety, I don't want to run a bolt in there. I need to run a pin. Should this thing flip over or capsize, you want this top to be able to be removed because with that top on, I don't think you're flipping the boat back over. So in the event that, that happens, you need a way to quickly remove the top. And sadly, you're ditching it, but let's hope that hasn't happened. But put the spring clips in there. So pop that off, pull the pin off. Bye bye top. So the top was going fine until, I don't know, half a block down the road when I lost one of these acorn nuts. This pole came off and half the top fell off the boat and it was just going crazy down the road. So I had to stop and take the uh, top apart. It wouldn't fit in my car assembled, so I had to take it apart on the side of the road. So that wasn't that fun. Now, should I have checked the nut tightness beforehand? Probably. However, I did actually on one because the little acorn nut, it bottoms out. I mean, you could argue should have put in uh, some Loctite or maybe ran a weld bead from the inside to make sure it didn't back out, but come on. Ain't nobody doing that. So I picked up some of these metric, I think it's an M6-1 uh, lock nut. And I put those on there instead of the acorn nuts and uh, that should solve the problem of it falling apart. However, since one set of the poles is longer than the other, so in my case the back poles are longer than the front poles, there's no good way to really wrap up the fabric, meaning it's just, just a nightmare going down the road. So I don't really think this top was made or designed to be used at highway speeds or even city block speeds. So that's something to consider. Luckily, it's easy enough to take apart, especially since I didn't mount it very well. I just used the spring clips. You can pop it right off. If, it, if we take the truck, it fit in the back of the truck and I'd have no issues with it back there. But as far as it fitting in the car, you gotta take the poles apart. But again, not, not really hard. And after you've done it a couple of times, it's pretty easy to get back together too. So, and a little too tight there, I think. And there goes my wrench. And that's pretty much how I got this traditional-looking bimini top for such a small boat, because they really don't—they really don't come like this. Usually, it's more of an umbrella shade than a than a top. But when you have, you know, your two kids in there looking for shade, you want something a little bigger and a little sturdier. Mounting the rears, I just put a little hole in there. I didn't want to add a bunch of holes or little cleats or anything to the top of the boat. Been using it for, I don't know, a few months. Now that fold isn't in there. The thing is I'm too lazy to straighten out the top because it, it's fine, so. I can get the fold nut in there if I adjust it all right, but I don't really feel like doing any of that. It's a little dirty. Like I said, I've been using it for months now and I've never washed it. But otherwise, it turned out to be a pretty good top. Also, it seems like the cheapest top I've ever bought. Anyway, so don't be afraid to modify a bimini top that comes close to fitting, because usually they're, they're not that hard.